welcome back to my channel um, this is a girl so geeky and my name is Gemma um, today I'm here with a um, pattern review um, I am reviewing the Seamwork Astoria uh, jumper um, or cropped pullover as they call it if you're not familiar with it this is what it looks like uh, this is obviously a, a PDF pattern that I've printed off um and yeah i have made two well technically three already um and i thought i would give you my thoughts uh so i made my first version i kind of want to say last year um i got a really gorgeous fabric when we did the last so so happened last year which is when we went around to all the different shops and i got some really nice fabric from fabricland i've got a little bit left um, it was this, oh, which I really love. I, I just think it's so, I just really love it. It's got like little black sparkly hearts and it's like a really nice red. It's super cozy. It's not too thick, but it is really cozy, like really soft. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the version I made ended up being way too small. I made a size medium and way too cropped for my liking. Like I would literally have to wear some sort of camisole underneath all the time because it showed a lot of midriff and that's just not really my style um, and I was really really disappointed um, because I really like this fabric even though it was like really cheap um, yeah and that I haven't been able to find it since um, unfortunately so if you happen to know of any please let me know if you've seen this around um, although I am kind of hoping that there is enough here for me to squeeze something out of even if it's just like I don't know, uh, like almost like a t-shirty small uh, something. I, I want to be able to make something. We'll see what happens. Anyway, back to the Astoria. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was my first version. Really didn't go that well. Um, so I put it to the side and kind of forgot about it for a while. Um, and then this year, um, I think, I don't even know what made me think of it actually. Um, I guess like a couple of months ago, um, I've just been going through my wardrobe, sort of what things that I feel that I have some gaps of and the fabrics that I have, the patterns that I have, trying to do some matching up. Um, and I had this fabric, um, which was gifted to me um, again, I think it was last year, the year before, I have a terrible sense of time when uh, me and my friends did our own version of the sewing weekender um, and we did our own goodie bags and this was from um, Sharon did my goodie bag and she knew that I was looking for some plain jerseys and she included this and it's really really nice um, I'm not too sure what sort of jersey it is it's quite thick it's super stretchy I kind of want to say maybe something that you would make like a hoodie in or something like that although it's not sort of brushed back or anything like that um like it's super stretch well i feel it's super stretchy but at the same time really stable i guess maybe similar to a ponty or something um and yeah i didn't really know what else to do with this at first because um i do i love gray but i think it's just a little bit pale for me that i would wear sort of all the time um it just what i feel it just washes me out a bit so I was just waiting for the right thing and then I thought this would be a fantastic, hopefully wearable toile for the Astoria. Um, I sort of came across it again and I knew I wanted some more jumpers um, in my wardrobe and thought I'm going to give it another go. I'll size up. I did. I had a look all over Instagram at people's, um, their versions and just got so inspired. And I was like, yeah, okay, I, that's probably what even made me think of it. I probably saw someone, I'd made, seen it on, on Instagram that they'd made, loved it. I was like, right, let's give this another go. I can do this. Um, so yeah, I sized up and I added um, quite a fair bit of um, length um, in the bodice. I just cut it at the cut line. I, I didn't measure it, so I don't know an exact amount. It was about this much, so maybe like two inches, maybe two and a bit. Um, obviously, I just made sure, <laughs> you don't want to see how I did it, but I made sure, obviously, that it was even all the way along. It was not done in any sort of um, <laughs> technical, um, proper way, <laughs> but it worked. Um, yeah, so I did increase it, and then I thought, I'll just, you know, see how it goes, um, have a bash at it. And I tell you what, I am so, so pleased with the res end result. Um, I can't, I don't know that I can do a full, I will try and see if I can add something in, but in case, if just in case you can see, this is, this is it. So it probably, the banding ends probably, I guess just under the, my hip bone. 
um, just before like the top of my thigh bone, <laughs> if I've got my anatomy correct. Uh, but yeah, just sort of like, just above my crotch. Um, and I, th that is a perfect, absolutely perfect um, length up for me. Absolutely love it. I did no adjustment to the sleeves um, and I'm really happy with the length there. I mean, potentially I might add like, I don't know, an inch, half an inch, but to be honest, I'm really not that worried. It's, it's not been anything that I've sort of noticed like, oh, they're a bit short. And I'll tell you what, with some tops, I really do have that problem put my arms out and they just seem to like come up to here. But actually this is all right. Uh, the neck band actually worked on this. I was so pleased. I haven't really had a lot of success with neck bands. Although saying that I haven't actually tried that many. Um, I've mostly been trying them on the Agnes top and just I just don't seem to have had a great deal of success with it. Um, it just doesn't really sit flat. And I, I don't know, I, I, I'm obviously doing something wrong, but I've not really sort of figured it out yet. But this one just worked amazingly well. I just love it. And I quite like um, sort of the neck hole shape. It's not too, it's not too wide. Um, although I potentially would change it um, at some point if I make another one again. Um, I'd maybe bring it in a bit and maybe have a bit more of a scoop. I, I think I'd like to bring it down a bit. I don't really like things up against my neck. Um, I, I like I never wear polo tops or you know those roll neck tops because uh, I just feel like it's choking me um so yeah this is fine but I think I would quite like to have it just a little bit down a little bit more round neck um just to change it up again as well um I did the I did everything in black thread because obviously I was thinking that it was just going to be a practice just to see how it goes so that includes all like the top stitching but actually I don't really mind the effect at all I I don't mind being able to see that um, I think it just adds a bit of contrast especially as I added this really sassy cat patch I'm hoping you can see that if not I will um I will add a close-up of it uh, but it's a cat face wearing some really nice glasses um, so yeah, I think I got that from Fabricland and I thought that just finished it off like perfect. Um, so yeah, so, so pleased with this version. So, um, because I loved it so much, I pretty quickly made another one. Now the fabric that I chose for this one, this is from Girl Charlie, which I got from them when we did the, um, the So Southampton this year. Um, I had seen it um, in, I get the newsletter from them and had seen it um, in that. Um, and I was just like, oh, it's so nice. It was this one and another one, which I'll show you in a minute. And I really liked it. And when I was arranging with Mark for him to um, be one of the vendors at Southam So Southampton, um, I did sort of say like, um, are you going to be bringing your cat fabric? Um, and he was like, yeah, maybe. And I was like, I really hope you do. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge, please bring it. Um, and he did, and I bought some. This one he did actually gift to me, um, very, very kindly. Um, so this one, um, I just got a meter of it because that's really all you need. Um, but oh, isn't that just divine? Like, look at that pattern. I love it so much. Um, it is thinner, like a lot thinner than this one. I would say it's possibly like almost t-shirt weight, a little bit heavier than that maybe, um, but it would make a great t-shirt. Um, I wasn't too sure because of it being a bit thinner, I wasn't too sure how it would turn out um, with this, especially like having like the neck band and stuff. Um, so I did put a query onto Instagram, um, but the majority of it was it should be okay. Obviously it's just probably gonna um, sit and feel slightly different, but just to have a bash at it. So I thought I'm gunning. Um, and actually, yeah, I still really like it. I'm not gonna get changed because I do have some pictures of this, of this uh, wearing this. So I'm gonna pop those in. Um, but I just really do love it. Like the neckband still worked well. Um, the uh, sort of waistband still worked really well. I wasn't sure whether to add the waistband at first. I was thinking about just extending the whole thing down as more of a t-shirt, but I am, I'm actually now glad that I did add the band. I just think I prefer it that way. Um, but yeah, oh God, I just really love it. And to be honest, because it's a bit lighter, it's quite nice. Um, at the moment, we're in that weird weather where summer is trying to sort of cling on and autumn, winter is trying to elbow its way in. So it's kind of like really cold in the morning and then by evening it's like really hot. 
um, and this is sort of nice enough that you know it's it's going to sort of keep you a bit warm if it's a bit chilly but at the same time like if it gets hot you're not going to sort of like swelter in it um so really nice i'm really happy to add this to my wardrobe um so yeah this i definitely two thumbs up for me for this pattern now that i've sort of sussed the sizing i'm really happy with the fit i'm not going to make any adjustments i'm i'm happy with just how it is um and yeah i definitely see me making some more um I feel like it would be nice just to change some bits up a bit just so they look all look a bit different so for example like I will make them maybe make one a bit more round neck <clears throat> I might try adding um uh sort of bands to the sleeves as well instead of just doing sort of a hem sort of turning it over I may add some like make some bands up and add those as well just to make some little cuffs um so that looks a bit different again um, but otherwise, yeah, I, I really do love this. And I think if you are um, fairly new to stretch fabrics um, or, you know, you haven't tried jumpers before or anything like that, I think this really is a fantastic um, pattern to try. It's so simple. Um, you all know how slow the I sew. Um, and I made this in a day. I mean, I know... I mean, <laughs> I probably I don't it didn't really take me the whole day obviously I get easily distracted by like cats and phones and all sorts of bits and pieces so I probably could have done it really really quickly but yeah obviously doing it on and off I think it took me the better part of the day um but yeah it it really is that quick and simple so I highly highly recommend this pattern I really do love it uh, and I'm so so pleased that I've tried it again because uh, I think that's going to become a staple um and going from that um i as i said i've had some other cat fabric from girl charlie which i bought at the same time which is this one this um if you can see it it's sort of um like retro phones but they are cats they've got like little like eyes and nose and whiskers and i just think that is amazing i, I really think it's adorable it's pretty much the same um yeah, it's pretty much the same weight. I think actually it's not actually that drapey, um, even though it's a bit thinner. It doesn't have, it doesn't feel like it has a whole lot of drape. I don't know. Like it's obviously not really stiff, but at the same time it kind of feels like it is. I don't think that makes any sense, but that's just kind of the only way I can describe it. Uh, but yeah, so I thought instead of making obviously another one, you know, another cat one of the Astoria, um, I thought I would try an Agnes um but use the neck um the neckline and um neck band of the astoria so um when i was cutting out the fabric um i just laid the astoria um pieces over on top um and cut around that instead of the agnes part um and i think it's actually worked really well i really am pleased with it again i'll pop in some pictures um, I have narrowed the uh, neckband slightly. Um, it's not like loads. I don't know if you can sort of see uh, the difference. <clears throat> I will try and put a picture in if I can. But um, yeah, I've just made it slightly smaller just to give it more of a t-shirt effect. Um, and I think it works quite well. I've gone for sort of the three quarter length sleeves or the, you know, up to like my elbow. Um, and I think I did the full length um, on some of the on ones that I've tried before, which I think I've made the Agnes twice before successfully ish. Um, but they've now been relegated to like pajama tops, <laughs> um, mostly because of the fabrics gone a bit like, I don't know, bobbly and whatever. Um, but I shortened the waist because it just looked really long. Like, I don't know, it felt like it was going to be a dress. Obviously it wasn't, but it just seemed really long. But this time I actually just did, I, you know, cut out the whole thing. <clears throat> I've done a fairly decent hem, so obviously that's taken it up a bit. But I'm actually pretty, I'm pretty pleased with this as well. I do find that with um, Tilly's patterns, obviously Agnes by Tilly and the buttons, she has definite um, shaping to her patterns. <clears throat> Very sort of like triangular. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a tickle in my throat. Give me two seconds. And I'm back. I don't know what that was. Excuse me. I don't know what I was saying. Yeah, definite shape. You can sort of really see, like, 
it really goes in at the um, at the waist, comes quite out far at the hips. Um, so I think it might also almost be a bit too big at the hips. I probably should have come in graded in just a little bit. But I mean, it's a t-shirt. It's it's going to be absolutely fine. But I am really really happy with that. Um, so I think I might try that again, maybe with the neckband. Although, um, because I find that the Agnes pattern is um it just seems very wide and quite deep um and like i like a round neck um but i don't know i just seem to find so many patterns they almost finish like right over the end of my shoulders and like <clears throat> if it's a jumper or something and i want to wear a t-shirt underneath and that comes up to here it just shows and i don't like that um so i might try this again because i quite like that but if you've seen um laura the specky seamstress I'm getting a bit sort of completely off piece here. Um, she has done, because I, because I want to make some more t-shirts and especially jersey ones. She has made a t-shirt using the uh, Minetta dress. And, and I really like the look of that. And instead of obviously using a knit band, she's just done a fold over. And um, I'm like, hmm, because the Minetta, um, like the shape of that, I do really like. I have got a Minetta dress and that's probably my most worn piece. Um, so I'm thinking, of maybe giving that a copy um thank you laura for the idea it's absolutely fantastic uh but i'm, I'm probably going to copy you uh because i really do like the look of that um and again i think even with the minetta when i made the dress i did bring it right in because it just seems so wide why are they all so wide i do not know uh, but yeah i can bring that in and obviously do around the neck um and maybe try that as a t-shirt as well but that should be a whole other video <laughs> let's get back to the astoria um, so I went to um, Krakow in Poland um, the second week of September and on one of the days um, we did go to some textile shops. Um, I did buy only one piece of fabric, shocker I know, um, but that's mainly because like the shops were really really busy um, and my family was sort of outside waiting for me and I didn't want them to sort of wait there for hours on end. So I pretty much saw this piece as soon as we walked in the door and I was just like I'll have that, let's go. <laughs> Um, and that is this, and it's, oh, so, so nice. I have no idea what it is, like what the composition is. I just know it's really stretchy, like width weighs more than length. Hold on, I can make sure I'm doing it around the right way. Right, right. Length weighs more than width. <laughs> um, and it's so soft, it does feel, um, I don't know what to liken it to. Let me see if you can sort of really see it. I'm hoping that is going to um, focus in properly. Uh, sorry, I'm losing the lights. I'm trying to be quick. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's just gorgeously, gorgeously soft. Oh no, and now I'm stuck on it. Well, of course. Anyway. Um, it is so incredibly, incredibly soft. Um, so I am thinking of making another Astoria in this. Um, I think that would just be super, super cosy for the winter. Um, and I just think it will look really sort of classic. You know, um, something I could wear to work, nice pair of black trousers, um, just really sort of really smart, casual and lovely and soft and strokeable. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I really love this. I kind of am also considering um, another Tilly pattern though, which is one that I've forgotten what it's called. The Coco. Because <laughs> um, again, I've only made that once with no success. I tried making the dress um, and with the funnel neck and, uh, and the type of fabric, it just didn't work. But also, because again, I, I need to stop going on Instagram so much. I see all these people make these wonderful things. I'm like, I want that, I want that, I want that. Um, and I've seen someone recently make, um, the, I can't remember who it was, I'm sorry. They had either just made the cocoa or they were maybe just re-showing it again. And I was just like, hmm, that might also make a nice cocoa. What do you think? Do you think I should go with what I now know is an story that, you know, fits and works well? Or for the cocoa, which I haven't yet 
had a success with even though i've only tried it once <laughs> Um, but you know just as the jumper sort of type thing what do you think i'd love your opinion but yeah this was really nice and this was something like i think in pounds it worked out to like either six or eight pounds a meter i think it oh, might have been like 36 watty i can't remember um my um my brother's partner was helping me try to i'll try i wanted to ask for it myself so she was sort of whispering in my ear like what I needed to say <laughs> um but yeah so I have that and I would like to make that up I am going to try and make something up with this again as well if I can try and get a story out of this I'm going to try um but otherwise like a t-shirt or just something I'd love I really do like this fabric um I feel like this has been really disjointed I'm going to watch this back and see whether I need to re-record it <laughs> um I don't know why <laughs> I feel like I've just got out of my groove uh but yeah that is it um Seam Work Astoria two thumbs up I really do love it uh, I really think you should give it a try if you haven't already if you have made it let me know um if it's on your Instagram I'm gonna go have a look I may have seen it already you may have been the one that inspired me so thank you very much um but yeah that's it for today um if you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up you can subscribe if you want to watch more um I've got a list of vlogs that I'm going to try and get recording on um and you can also um if you tap the bell um it means you'll be notified whenever I make a video so you won't miss out um I've got a giveaway coming up soon um I've received the book um so I'm going to try and record that soon so please do keep an eye out for that um, and I think that is it. I'm going to leave it there because I can see the light is going and I'm going to start looking really crap. <laughs> uh, so that's it for now. I hope you're having a fabulous day, evening, weekend, weekday, whatever it is. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.